And guys, welcome back to another episode of Dory Dory 2K19 My Career Mode. As I have a conversation with both Baron Blade and, and Cole Quinn, <laughs> they sent in a matchup. So, this is Tyler Moore versus Cole Quinn, the third encounter of this series. Tyler Moore and Cole Quinn has possible is one of the one of the biggest probably underrated rivalry of this year as nobody has no stone but until the, the recent social media attacks on Triple H in WWE for taking away Tyler Moore's chances of going to WWE. And now all these fans. All these fans are here to see Tyler Moore, Nicole Quinn. But again, in the third encounter, of their rivalry. Last week, these two went head to head in a false count anywhere matchup where both men bleeded. Uh, bleeded on, on their heads. And Tyler Moore watched out the victory on that match when he hit a DDT with, on a steel chair to Cole Quinn. But will tonight be Cole Quinn's chances? A chance to beat Tyler Moore and prove to him that he belongs to WWE, that he should have been the one to go to WWE in the first place. Not Tyler Moore, him. Here we go, it's Tyler Moore and Cole Quinn inside a steel cage structure. Rumble with the front face lock, elbow strike, a counter. Oh, a roundhouse kick by Cole Quinn to the body it looked like. Oh. And Tyler Moore having trouble getting back into his feet, but counter. By Tyler Moore. Uh oh. Oh. Elbows to the back. By Tyler Moore. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh. And Tyler Moore sends Cole Quinn in steel cage. Oh, that looked look like a headbutt. Cover. One. Kick out by Cole Quinn. Oh, Cole went back to his feet. That quickly. Oh, kick to the leg by Cole Quinn. Uh oh, a duck and a leaf frog. Oh! And a body slam by Cole Quinn, I don't know what you call that. Oh, counter by Tyler Moore. Counter by Cole Quinn. Counter. Oh, God. Oh, and a half and half suplex by Tyler Moore. These two are putting on on the line in this matchup. Oh, counter by Cole Quinn. Uh oh. Irish went to the corner. Oh! Well, Bikes match at Cole Quinn. But Cole Quinn misses. Cover one. Kick out of the German suplex attempt. 
Counter by Cole Quinn. Oh, and another free fall body slam. I think that's what you call it. Oh, inverted DDT. Uh oh, this looks like it, this could be a neck breaker by Cole Quinn. Cover. One, two. Oh, kick out the last second by Tyler Moore. Cole Quinn thought it was over. Oh, counter by Tyler Moore. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. This could be a for Cole, Cole Quinn. Patella drop. Brain buster. Would this be it? One, two. Oh, kick out. A kick out at the last second by Cole Quinn. Cole Quinn kicked out that move for the first time ever. Uh-oh. Counter by Cole Quinn. Counter by Tyler Moore. Oh, and a body splash. Wait. Where is Hammer going? Oh. Oh. Oh, double axe handle. One. Oh, kick out. No. Oh, God. What the hell? Oh, my God. Time work giving everything he's got to cook. One, one, one. No, still not enough. What the heck was that crazy combination moves in a, in a super kick in German suplex attempt? Still not enough to take out Cole Quinn. Not even close. Oh. Oh. Wait. No, you gotta be kidding me. Tyler Murray, is he crazy? Oh my god! That's, that's gonna be it. One, two, no! And Tyler Moore looks like he is complete shock right now. Oh! Counter. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh! And Cole Quinn making him back to his feet. Eris went. Uh oh. In that half and half suplex again. In time, I'm looking to end this. Oh no, he misses. Oh god. Cole Quinn with the DT, he hits it. Will this be it for Tyler Moore? One, two, no, uh, what the hell? Tyler Moore kicked out at the first count by Cole Quinn's DDT. Tyler Moore. Uh oh. And it looks like Tyler Moore is making a comeback in this matchup. To dodge and a flying elbow. Tyler Moore looks like he is fired up, ladies and gentlemen. And this could be it. Oh! Uh, more need to end this thing. 
Wait. He's going out to steal Cage. Oh god, no. Not again. Tyler Moore. God damn it, no. Oh. Cole Quinn just dunked out of the way just in time. Oh. Counter. Oh. Time went one to end this match on a bang, it looks like. He doesn't care about his body. He wanted to do anything to take out Cole. Oh god. Go Quinn! Watch out! Oh! Would that be it? One, two, no! Another dive off the top of that steel cage. Still not enough to take out Cole Quinn. In time more. The damnation kick again. Oh! Counter! Counter by Cole Quinn! Uh oh! And DDT! DDT once again! Will that be it? Cover! One! Two! And th No! No! Not enough! Not enough to take out Tyler Moore! Oh! And Tyler Moore's face is bleeding! Like a crimson mask, ladies and gentlemen. Knee drop, brain buster. One, two, and three. And Tyler Moore wins this war against Cole Quinn. These two possibly maybe push each other than last week's false count anywhere. It took Brian Moore actually two knee drop brain busters to take out Cole Quinn. But two dives up that steel cage wasn't enough to take out Cole once and for all. Tyler Moore wins this hard fought battle with blood flowing out of his head guys that truly topped anything you've ever done before but I'm afraid I got some bad news what yeah what happened our pay-per-view stream went down in the middle of your match no one watching online got to see how it ended <laughs> Did the site crash or something? What happened? No, we were taken down intentionally by Triple H. Oh, bro. Triple H? How could he even do that? He and WWE's lawyers are claiming they have exclusive rights to broadcast from this venue. <sighs> Damn it! And now we're getting flooded with sure? refund requests. I don't think you're getting any bonus checks for this show, guys. I'm sorry. Does either of you know okay. if you can return slightly used jet skis? So if I, go to Ridge Hall of Boston and I might have jumped the gun on purchasing a couple. Stuff on the Is that okay? There's no mail we'll thing. circle back to that later. All right, then. All right, First, then. Triple H unfairly pulls my contract from defending myself from an attack, and now he's trying to sabotage our business? We have to strike back. Yeah. They have a team of lawyers and an endless supply of cash. You guys just competed in a cage made from an old prison fence. What could we possibly do to them? Well, you said it earlier. Tonight was like we're invading their territory, right? So, what if we actually did that? Oh. What do you mean? I mean, we hit Triple H exactly where it hurts the most by... Selling him used jet skis. <laughs> oh, Invading oh, NXT. Invading NXT. Totally on the same page as you, Buzz. I don't know about this, guys. It seems risky. Why? 
we've both been rejected by WWE, so what do we have to lose, right? Uh -huh. And this is what you wanted, Baron. You wanted this. You said it yourself. Our plan was to stick it to Triple H. So what do you say? I think we're going to need a really big stick. Uh huh. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and it's official. A few days later. Hey Cole, you got the tickets? Front row, just like you wanted. Oh hell this yeah! Is your electric bill. Oh, sorry. Wrong pocket. <laughs> huh. Thank you. This is it, Buzz. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. You guys remember when Triple H and DX invaded WCW? <laughs> People still talk about that to this very day. This is going to be very good for us and BCW. Just be ready for anything. I'll be pulling for you. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> War Sean Memphis, Cameron Owens. No. <laughs> okay. I was thinking after you get in there, you should cut a promo rather than get into a fight with anyone. Less risk of injury that way, right? Hmm. 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 I haven't really decided what we should do. I should talk to Cole about it. If we want to make a real impact tonight, we can't just sit there in our seats or cut a promo. We need to get physical with someone. Huh. Hmm. Probably. Huh. I thought you should just cut a promo tonight to promote BCW. But it sounds like you and Cole have other plans. <laughs> Next week's show is one you don't want to miss as Velveteen Dream takes on Adam Cole and what is sure to be... <laughs> oh, so, wait, sorry to interrupt, Michael, but something's going on in the crowd. <laughs> wait, wait, I recognize those two. Isn't that... Hey, 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 don't give them the attention they want by saying their names. <laughs> Cole Quinn and Tyler Moore in the NXT house, everyone. And here's Johnny Gargano. Wait, where are these guys going? They can't do this. Oh, no. What are they doing? Why? What is happening around here? Johnny Gargano, you know what? I love you. This is just for business only. Jungle Gano, I hope you understand this. It's not because I hate you. This is just confusing. <laughs> and time more with the knuckle sandwich. Sleeper hole neck breaker.
Noko Sandwich again. <laughs> this is probably gonna be the silent episode ever. <laughs> I think that this would be it, probably. Actually, I might know how to end this properly. I wonder if I have. Okay, and not even like a super heavyweight, but sure. Now what does Tyler Moore have in mind, ladies and gentlemen? And Jarga again finds a way out. See if I have it. Oh, I do. Trigger Gale, this is only for business. Business only. Good night. <laughs> That's right. You got one. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> He's so pissed. <laughs> Get them out of here right It looks now. like these two trespassers are finally leaving. At least we can get on with the show now. <laughs> that was awesome. Triple H must be losing it right now. <laughs> I know. And even better, we're trending. Oh, hell yeah. I know I had my doubts about this, but this kind of attention will really help our next BCW Yeah, show. yeah, yeah. But before we get there, how are we going to strike next? Uh -huh. What do you mean strike next? This wasn't a one-time thing? <laughs> oh, no. You, you're all about the buzz, right? You're all about the buzz? <laughs> we got to keep uh -huh. this thing going. Yeah, I want to be trending nonstop. <laughs> Triple H, he's going to be ready for us next time, so we can't just buy tickets and walk in like we did tonight, okay? We need a different plan. Uh -huh. I have an uncle who owns a costume shop. Uh-huh. Hmm. Hmm. Next week. His voice was the soundtrack for the biggest matches in Square and Circle history. And now he breaks down the latest happens in the world of pro wrestling. Get ready for enticing conversations with legendary wrestling commentator, Jack Tice. Baron Blade's BCW is certainly pushing its issue with Triple H further when last week BCW wrestlers Buzz and Cole Quinn invaded NXT and made their presence known. This was in response to Triple H recently shutting down the online feed on a BCW pay-per-view for various legal reasons. Now look here, I've seen this type of stuff happen before, and it usually doesn't end well for the guys who are doing the invading. I'm not saying that's always the case. Uh, there's DX's invasion of WCW, which some would say helped turn around the Monday Night Wars in favor of WWE. <laughs> but that was a much different situation, and more often than not, the little guys who are looking for the rub, if you will, from the bigger company end up getting more than they bargained for. I mean, come on, if Triple H went after BCW just for running a former WWE venue, imagine what he's gonna do after these guys jump the barricade and disrupt the NXT broadcast, which we all know is Triple H's baby. <laughs> See, if I were these guys, I'd stay as far away from Orlando as I could from now on. You made your point. You got some more buzz, pun intended. Now better back off before you do any major damage to your futures, <laughs> which, to be honest, they may have already done. In any event, I'll be watching to see what BCW's next move is, just like all of you, and I just hope it's a smart one. <laughs> it's not smart at all. No. Our BCW shows were really taking off until Triple H shut down our stream. 
So why don't we forget this invasion stuff and just get back to running non-WWE venues? <laughs> I don't see why we can't do both. And honestly, I, I don't care why you keep pushing back on the invasion. I guess it's because I've worked with Triple H before. And I've seen what happens when someone gets on his bad side. It's not going to end well. <laughs> well, maybe this time will be the, the exception to the rule. <laughs> or maybe you'll be the fool that proves the rule. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. That's because I just made it up. Do you like it? Uh, not really. Bro, your uncle hooked us up. I know. And all he asked is that we plug his costume shop on NXT. It's kind of a weird request, I know, but this stuff's expensive, so I said we'd do it. Uh, okay. <laughs> I was thinking we'd blend in with the fans better if we dressed up as classic wrestlers. It's a great idea. So who do you want to be? <laughs> uh, uh, he superstars, D-Generation X. <sighs> well... <laughs> You're trying to take over the rest of the company. And then W.O. New World Order took, trying to took, take over wrestling. So, why not go with New World Order? Well, we gotta go with the original invaders. Hall and Nash from the N.W.O. This is going to be too sweet! <laughs> and Baron Blades is all like... I'm just watching. I don't like this at all. And here we nice. are, ladies and gentlemen. It's the NWO! See, you never know who's gonna show up at NXT! <laughs> <laughs> I agree, he's just such a funny guy. <laughs> cool, cool. Man. It appears these fans have gotten a little carried away. After last <laughs> week, are we sure they're fans? Now, I'm skeptical to say the least. Uh, hey, yo. Uh, oh, on. damn it. Let's go. You wanna go? Come on. Let's go. Uh oh. Oh! I'm trying security guard. Get my ass kicked by a security guard. So, <laughs> okay, this is this is funny. I'd say this is funny. I wasn't going for a choke slam. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> how are, how aren't these security guards real? How come these? Security guards aren't wrestlers. Oh, you. Oh, you. What the heck was that? I believe I can fly. I wasn't going for a choke slam. <laughs> Looking at the sun that 
passes. <laughs> Man, that's great guard. It's all like things pissed up. I don't see them. And Cold Coin just totally taking neck. It's great guard's ass over there. Seriously? It's not. Look at you. Theory confirmed. It's those same two cowards who interrupted the show last week. Come on. Let's go. Destroy them. On this pain. Finally, <laughs> some reinforcements have arrived. Yeah, these indie invaders may have gotten more than they bargained for. Huh. Okay. They come with a pretty cool kick. Oh, and now a DDT reversal. Come in, it's a shutdown. Now I'm all like, come um, carrying this thing. Oh! <laughs> I just hit a zigzag. <laughs> oh, Cole, you know you're gonna help me out. <laughs> I'm just wasting a combat. I mean. If I don't bleed, oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, you were 
first it. Just play as Cole. I'm sorry. Oh dang. I didn't see it. I made reverse prompt. See how you like it. I think that I have to take out Rizara too. Coquin just to find the loss of gravity, everyone. How, how hilarious.
Here's our get up. <laughs> Seriously, I'm surprised you don't have to knock out. Uh huh. Oh come on! I I was just bleeding. I want you to tear them apart. Huh. I have no idea how these two survived the authors of Let's pain, go. but hopefully Gargano and Cassius Ono can get the job done. <laughs> well, let's Come see. On. Come on, Cletus. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> now I see blood. No, no blood. Ah, I got you, S.O.B. I tried to, to, to get away from my comeback. You yeah, know, skipping down, B. He didn't hear that. Oh well. Oh, that fence just got kicked in the face. And it was like, yeah, I got kicked in the face. I found a way out. Yep, it's gonna need my help. Come here! Andy Cole. Oh, he did. He did. Oh, 
Oh, look at that finishing move. He's ended. Well, well at least that both opponents were down. Come on, Cole. We got this. Oh, no. Now they're Finish in trouble. Off. The Undisputed Era will put an end to this. Now, this yeah. is a rare time. I'm actually cheering for the Undisputed Era. No matter what your feelings are with the Undisputed Era, Byron, they represent NXT against these invaders. Cole Quinn is the only one that has maximum health. But I just like to fight crazy. <laughs> I Come on, Bobby. Come on, Bobby Fish. Pick him up and put it back down. Why can't the rest of the unscrewed ever actually come out and kick our ass? He's in the back, but still got him. Wait, what? Oh, Bobby is still not down. Go extreme.
Time we go to extreme. Oh, I don't have it. You got nobody left. Triple H. Hey Hunter, you mad, bro? I mean, I guess I would be too if a couple of indie guys infiltrated my show two weeks in a row and then beat up half my roster. <laughs> yeah, you guys are real clever. Showing up here again in your cute little costumes. <laughs> Actually, these awesome costumes are courtesy of Don's Costume Shop, Syracuse, New York. Dressing you up since 1993. And if you use the promo code Mr. CQ, you get a 10% off all wrestling costumes. Thanks, Uncle Don. <laughs> oh, and to Mom, Dad, Sally, and my dog Butternuts. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Thank you for supporting me in all my endeavors. Look at me now! I made the big time, baby! Are you finished? <laughs> yeah, man. Anything else you want to plug or BCW? Oh yeah! You can catch more of the two of us on BCW when Triple H here isn't trying to shut down our shows. <laughs> Listen, we can stand here and go back and forth, and then you can try to invade again next week in some other not so clever way. But I have a different proposal instead. You want to be on NXT so bad, you can come back and have an actual sanctioned match. I just happen to have the perfect opponent for you, Buzz. So what do you say? Oh. You got yourself a deal. That's great. Hell because yeah. after next week, your life will be changed forever. Oh. What do you mean by that? I don't care, as long as it means we'll mm -hmm. never have to see these two losers again. <laughs> Next week. The so-called Indie Invaders are back again this week. This time for an official match with Buzz up, taking on Triple H's hand-picked opponent. I guarantee whoever Triple H chooses will be leaps and bounds above the What's competition up? that Buzz has faced on the Indie circuit. Hey, guys. We wanted to make you feel at home, so we got you your very own locker room. I'm sorry that I swore that time, but come on. It'd be the perfect in introduction. What's the matter? <laughs> Is it too big? Oh, brother. <laughs> well, at least we have free toilet paper. <laughs> Cole Quinn, you are a joy to have in this career. Moments later. It's kind of hard to prepare for my match when I have no idea who I'm facing. I would just be ready for anything. Yeah, I mean, I could be facing Braun Strowman because Triple H had me go against him in my tryout match. 
Maybe. <laughs> you okay? You seem kind of distracted. Look, I'm just worried how this is going to turn out. I mean, for all of us. I warned you not to get on Triple H's bad side. Yeah, yeah, but with everybody here, it should be fine, right? I hope you're right. Look, I'm gonna go see if I can find us an actual dressing room, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Sure. Hey, no matter what happens, I got your back tonight. Thanks, man. I mean... Thanks, Cole. I just have a strange feeling that Triple H is going to try to pull something over on you. He is the cerebral assassin, after all. <laughs> I'll be ready for whatever or whoever throws at me. He said this match would change your life forever. But what does that mean? Maybe it was some kind of clue. I guess when you win the lottery, it changes your life forever. And people who win the lottery are millionaires. Maybe your opponent is the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. What? I don't know about that, Cole. Alright. Well, I'll keep thinking on it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Nothing new. Nee, agreed. And that's it. So anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. This video has been pretty fun. And next week, the next time, we're going to have a fight to see if Tyler Moore can get on NXT with the mystery opponent he has to face. Who would it be? And why Why was Baron Blade acting very nervous and kind of suspicious? All your, all the answers will be revealed on the next episode. Goodbye, everyone.